Hello my wonderful art friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is my monthly updates for May. It's less of a studio vlog and more of an art adventures vlog. This month I went to a bunch of different exhibitions, I also managed to go on a little family holiday away camping and at the end of the month I got to see my chemical romance the reunion tour. It was amazing! <laughs> so yeah this is more of a uh, art adventures out in life vlog rather than in my studio but I hope you enjoy it and let's get going! To kickstart my month I tabled at the Cafe Queer Craft Market alongside Coin Operated Press and it was a wonderful experience as usual. I really love the vibes of this cafe and this market is so much fun. Everybody is always so friendly and says such lovely things about my work and it always makes me smile so much. So thank you so much to everybody who popped along, it was really nice to see you. So the first exhibition of this month was going to check out Van Gogh Alive, the experience in Edinburgh. And I didn't really know what to expect from this exhibition. I purposefully decided not to try and engage with any content and tried to keep it as much of a surprise as possible. So I just enjoy the experience once I was there. But it's hard not to see the little sneak peeks that people post online. And I knew at the very least about the sunflower room, but the rest of it, I wasn't entirely sure what it was gonna be. So it was really, really nice to come in completely fresh and just be astounded by all the work on display. So I'll read you out the little bit of the description from the website so you can get a sort of idea of what this exhibition was all about. Van Gogh's works have been exhibited and admired for over a century, but never like this. Created by Grande Experiences, Van Gogh Alive gives visitors the unique opportunity to immerse themselves into Van Gogh's artistry and truly venture into his world. Traditions of tiptoeing through silent galleries and viewing paintings from afar in quiet contemplation are forgotten as visitors find themselves interacting with art in ways they never imagined. From start to finish, visitors are surrounded by a vibrant symphony of light, colour, sound and fragrance as they wander around the exhibition and absorb it in every possible angle. Van Gogh's masterpieces come to life, give visitors a sensation of walking right into his paintings, a feeling that is simultaneously enchanting, entertaining and educational. Adults and children delight in this super scale show, viewing artworks from new angles and discovering unique perspectives. And that is exactly what it was. It was lots of screens in a very darkened room, projected with lots of different moving images of the artworks. And it was really fascinating to see them in that way. And like it said, it really brought them to life and made you immerse yourself into the artworks, especially with the sounds and the fragrances, although they weren't that strong so you could only sort of just smell them, um, which was probably good for me because I think I would have ended up being a bit overstimulated. <laughs> but definitely my favourite part of the exhibition was going into the sunflower room at the end. It was so beautiful. I really loved this. It was a fantastic experience. I mean it was quite pricey but I definitely recommend it if it's in your area. Next up on my little exhibition tour this month was the Royal Scottish Academy's annual exhibition and this is the 196th year of this annual exhibition which is amazing. I didn't realise the uh, RSA had been going for that long. For those that have never visited I'll read you a little part of the introduction to give you an idea of the kind of works that are on display. Exuberance and celebration fill the galleries with works from the studios of the Academy and other contemporary practitioners, both invited and selected from the open submission process. Works are shown in the galleries and online, and indeed there are works which can only be seen on the web platform. This will enable a further explanation of the breadth and range of the artist's practice. The RSA exhibition is a selling exhibition and everything on display is for sale. 
and there is a wide variety of artwork on display which is always really fun for this exhibition. I've applied to be in it for multiple years in a row, as is my dad actually, and neither of us have ever gotten in. Sadly, we're not in the in crowd of the RSA. <laughs> and as far as we're aware, it's more about who you know than what you do. So I need to make friends with some RSA people. Uh, if you're watching, come, come be my friends so I can get into the RSA exhibition. One year, one year I'll make it through the open submission process. But at the very least, I always enjoy coming to see the exhibition. It's always really interesting and there's definitely work there for everybody, which is what I really enjoy. In my little film clips here, you can see some of my favourites and I'll leave it linked down below because it's on until sometime in June. So there's plenty of time for you to go and check it out if you're in the Edinburgh area and I'll leave a link to the digital collection as well. So if you're not in the Edinburgh area, you can check that out too. May is also the celebration of Coin Operated Press's second birthday! We're two years old! It's so exciting! To celebrate this year, we decided to host a zine fair in Blunt Knife Co. And this is the first zine fair that we've hosted. So that was uh, pretty epic, quite nerve wracking, but I think we did a really good job. The Blunt Knife Co. space, uh, their event space is quite small. So it was a good little introduction for us to do our first ever zine fair. And we had a bunch of wonderful zine makers, including myself, I tabled at it as well. CoinOp had our stuff up on the shelves and we had a few other wonderful zine makers as well as a tarot reader and my mum was very lovely and made us a bunch of cupcakes to celebrate as well it was such a lovely day last but not least in this month of exhibitions i went along to the dundee degree show for this year it was fantastic fun. I really enjoy going to the degree shows and I've missed them being off during the pandemic so I was really excited to be able to go to this one. I went with my dad which I normally do, we like going out to the degree shows together and my dad does tend to march around a little bit so I end up moving through the exhibition galleries quite quickly but I still really enjoyed everything that we got to see. We mostly stuck to the fine art and of course we went to go and see the jewellery exhibition as well. And yeah, a fantastic array of work from people this year. Really, really interesting. This month I also managed to wander away on a little family holiday. We went on a camping trip to Dunbar, which totally reminded us of when we were kids. Uh, my dad and a group of dads that we knew used to go dad's camping where we'd go like a few times a year at the weekends We went away a bunch of kids and dads and we'd go camping and Dunbar was one of our Definite favorite haunts because it's so close to where we are. So we went away with my parents and uh, My brother and his girlfriend and Stuart and it was so much fun We had a dip in the very cold Scottish waters managed to encourage Ankis to go swimming with us It was very cute and we just enjoyed all the beaches and had some lovely food out and it was just really nice being out with my family and enjoying the beautiful country that we live in. Stupid dog. My little fangirl heart completely melted at the end of this month. I got to go and see My Chemical Romance and they were amazing and this is like the biggest concert I've ever been to and we were way up in the gods in the cheap seats but it was so good. I loved it so much. I really hope they tour again because I just, I need to see more. It was amazing. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of adventures and do hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around and see my next month of adventures. That's all from me for today and I'll see you in my next video, bye!